Hey guys and welcome back to our channel Isha and Deepak. In today's video we're going to take you around to one of the world's most beautiful resorts and also one of the most expensive resorts in St. Lucia. This resort has a lot of amenities but the main part is the view, the view of the pitons. So are you ready to take the tour now? Let's start the tour. Nestled between the pitons and surrounded by lush hills, Ladera Resort is recently named among Condé Nest Travelers' 16 most romantic places to stay in the world. It is an adult-only luxury hotel located in Souffre, St. Lucia and is approximately 45 minutes away from the Havanera International Airport and approximately 75 minutes away from the George Charles Airport. But you don't need to worry because accommodation in Ladera includes private transfers to and fro from the two major airports. The drive to the resort is stunning no matter which side of the island you're coming from. Once you reach the resort, you will be asked for your reservation and then they will assign you a parking spot. While you park, they will let the butler know so they can come pick you up from the parking lot. Since cars are not allowed beyond the parking lot, all the commuting happens in a golf cart in the resort. The butler then takes you to the welcome area where you will be warmly greeted by a hostess with a cold scented towel and a welcome drink. Thank you. Thank you. You can choose between an alcoholic or a non-alcoholic drink. But I would suggest if you drink, definitely try this. It's strong. good. It's strong. <laughs> it's strong. Nice. Nice and strong. The way I like it. <laughs> Once you're all set here, you will be escorted to your villa. For us, we had booked the Hilltop Dream Suite with private heated pool and it was gorgeous. This was a two-story villa and could easily accommodate two couples one on the main floor and one upstairs. The upstairs room had the Ladera patent, three wall concept, so we chose to sleep downstairs because I was dead scared of the mosquito bites at night. The upper floor has a full bathroom with a shower and bathrobes, while downstairs we had a powder room. Mm, the size looked way too big for a powder room though, but the weird part is that this powder room did not have a door, which was super weird for us. Even the upstairs bathroom had a half swinging door. But the best part of the suite was its patio and the heated pool area, which overlooks the breathtaking piton views and the Caribbean Sea. Our pool also had a waterfall and a swing, which is also offered in some other suites. The suite also comes with other amenities like a local mobile phone to call the butler or the reception area for any service you need. It also includes a complimentary minibar, your private coffee machine, a complimentary bottle of champagne, yoga mats which we'll talk about in a bit, a necessities basket upstairs including binoculars, compass and etc. When it comes to enjoying these mesmerizing views, you could either choose to do that while sipping champagne in your private pool or while dipping your feet on the swing or while sitting upstairs on this huge wooden furniture. Trust me, there is plenty of room here to do whatever in the suite. I wish we could take some drone shots of this resort but unfortunately drones are not allowed on this property and you will see big signs of that everywhere. Anyway, what I want you guys to do is chill and relax and sink in all this beauty because you paid a ton loads of money to stay here, right? Alright, now that we are refreshed and rejuvenated, now let's talk about the rest of the resort. Dining. As for dining, we were pleased with Ladera's restaurant, Dashina, which is an award-winning farm-to-table St. Lucian cuisine restaurant and also is in the top 10 best views restaurant in the world. This is the only restaurant in the property, but if you would like to eat somewhere else, there are a few options at a walking distance from Ladera like restaurant chocolate. What I loved about this restaurant, of course, apart from this magnificent view, is their sustainability. Ladera grows most of the fruits and vegetables they serve in the kitchen garden located in the property so you can be rest assured to be eating fresh food here. Breakfast is included in the sweet rate and you have an option of eating in the restaurant or ordering room service. For us, we went to the restaurant for breakfast every day, mostly because it was fun to see the pitons from the multi-level bar and lounge. And also because the staff remembered our names and asked about our day which was super sweet. The food was fresh and delicious and they offered us fresh local fruits and freshly made juices and coffee during our breakfast. And as I said, the breakfast is complimentary, only a few items from the menu were an extra charge like the power smoothies. We had our breakfast in peace every day with the sounds of the birds chirping and the stunning views of the pitons. Please note that you do not need to make reservations for the breakfast here but you do need to do that for dinner at Dashina because it's one of the most popular dining option for anyone coming to St. Lucia. And yes, people who don't stay here can also dine here. We would highly recommend though coming here before sunset to enjoy some pre-dinner cocktails whilst enjoying the setting sun through the pitons 
after which you will be escorted to your table for dinner which you are going to love. It was a busy night but it's understandable because this place is so freaking romantic. You will surely be falling in love with the atmosphere here. So don't go there for food but go there for the view and the ambience because this place is perfect for date nights, proposals or anniversary dinners hence equally expensive too. You also have an option of pre-purchasing an all-inclusive meal plan here if you do not want to worry about being in budget during your vacation. Now let's talk about fitness. What's unique about Ladera is that it has a fitness idea for everyone's liking. Let me explain myself. Just like any other resort, Ladera has an indoor gym with a small studio, all the equipment you need, Pilates studio, etc. But what's done me the most is Ladera Resort's unique and rustic outdoor gym, which is a project that combines fitness with their love of nature. All the handmade wooden equipment is designed and handcrafted in the carpet entry shop at the resorts from the wood sourced from within the property or from the neighboring businesses. They have fondly named these equipments for workouts like monkey bars, treadmills, pull-up bars, parallel bars, etc. This resort also has its own nature trail, which is part of Ladera Resort's Wellness Center. The trails extend over 1.9 miles, rising above 1,000 feet above sea level. Trails are graded according to level of difficulty, from easiest to moderate and to difficult. Guests can choose to walk or hike the trails or simply enjoy them as places to meditate and relax. This place also has a yoga pavilion where they have complimentary yoga sessions in the morning. Hence, the yoga mats in the suite. Ladera also has a main pool and deck area overlooking the pitons and the Caribbean Sea where you can chill or read a book or just get a tan. This pool area also has a bar where you can order drinks from. Now it's time to talk about other amenities. Amenity number one. Since Ladera does not have a beach of its own, it provides complimentary shuttle to and fro down the valley to the beach, which consists of the Viceroy Sugar Beach and Margaretot Beach. Beach chairs and umbrellas are available at the beach for an additional charge. Amenity number two, Ladera has a fully stocked library and hammocks right next to it where you can relax and read a book isn't it cool? Amenity number three, Ladera has its own multi-level covered tree house where you can sit and relax or maybe read a book or just come here to be amidst the nature. This big tree house here is built on the oldest mango tree in the Caribbean. It's over 300 years old mango tree. It's really a cool place to hang out and right next to it, they have a very small artificial waterfall, which is kind of cool. Amenity number four, Ladera has a pretty cool gaming area and is divided into a game room which includes a pool table, a TV, bull's eye and some other indoor games. And the other side of the area has a ping pong table and air hockey which means you won't be bored at all during your stay. And along with all of this, it also has a hot tub for guest use. This is the natural mineral water. What we do here, since we're close to the sulfur spring, we pump the water here and then we test the temperature so people can sit and bathe in the day. Which is very good for mosquito bite, various skin diseases, low tan, etc. Number 5. It also has a local emotion studio where they sell small art items made by local artists. It was awesome to see how talented these local people are. Number 6. There is also a gift shop inside the restaurant which sells sustainable, fair trade and cruelty-free guest amenity products. Number 7. Upcoming spa. Ladera is opening a new spa and this is the spa area. Currently, it's non-functional but look at this place. It's going to be super amazing when it starts. Check out the view the pool area, this relaxing space. I would love to come back for this. Currently, they offer massages in the room, but when this starts, it's going to be a game changer. What do you think about this? All right, now we have covered everything about this resort. Let's end this video inside our suite, shall we? Well, hope you enjoyed this video and this beautiful resort which is also one of the most gorgeous resorts in the whole world. Hope all the tips were helpful to you and if it were, please go ahead and like this video. It helps our algorithm and we'll see you in the next one. So till then, cheers! <laughs>